guys, welcome back to Lip Swatch Week. Today's video is all about the Color Statement Moisture Matte Lipsticks from Milani. I'm pretty sure that is the name. They came out with eight new lipsticks um, to their Color Statement line that are completely matte. They have a bunch of regular color statement lipsticks, which I'm a big fan of. I featured them in my yearly favorites video. I love Milani color statement lipsticks. So when I found out that they were coming out with matte versions, I was head over heels. I've purchased all my original color statement lipsticks on my own, but they did send me their little matte collection. And it's definitely hit or miss. For the most part, I really, really love them. Um, there are a couple colors that I'm like iffy about, but if you want to hear like the basics, they are very similar to the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipsticks at the drugstore that are my favorite drugstore lipsticks right now. But I think the Maybelline ones are a little bit better. They go on a little bit more pigmented. I don't know if you could tell like in the lip swatches and stuff, but in the tube it looks a little bit darker than when it comes off on your lips. Like when I applied it to my lips, it does apply the color a little bit softer, which doesn't bother me. It's just not as pigmented as it looks in the tube. Not that these aren't pigmented, but this is a lipstick that you're gonna have to build up. I, um, especially with the lighter shades, like when I was swatching them, you have to go back and forth like a bajillion times to get the full color, and that's the same thing um, on your lips. You're gonna have to pass your lipstick quite a few times to get that full on color, so just keep that in mind. These are very moisturizing though, just like the name says. Not like moisturizing like a lip gloss, but they do not dry out the lips at all. They feel very, very velvety, like, like I said, very similar to the Maybelline ones. I don't feel like they dry out my lips. They don't wear as long as my Maybelline ones, I think. I do get a few hours out of it, but this is something that you're gonna wanna throw in your purse because you're gonna wanna retouch throughout the day, maybe like twice throughout the day, not a lot. Because it isn't glossy, it will last a little bit longer than like a glossy, product but it's not the, the longest matte lipstick if you know what I mean. Does that make sense? It does start to wear off a little bit towards the inside of your mouth when you're eating, drinking, and all that stuff. I don't find that I absolutely need a lip liner when I use this because I don't think they feather. At least not on me. They don't bleed on my lips. They don't get all weird. The only two colors that I'm kind of iffy about are actually these two right here. Matte Innocence and Matte Glam. Matte Innocence is such a beautiful color, but it really just accentuates all the creepy little lines on my lips. Like They get right up in there, and it's super super patchy like this one is not my favorite which sucks because the color is beautiful and this one doesn't accentuate my lines like this one does but it's also pretty patchy matte glam which sucks because it's a beautiful purple but it comes off softer on the lips and it kind of just looks like there are spots of my lips showing through it's a little patchy not my favorite but the other ones I really love Matte Confident is beautiful and I really love Matte Naked as well. Overall, I give these guys a B because they're super inexpensive on the website. They are $5 on their Milani website and they're very creamy. They don't have a nasty scent. Oh, that's another thing. The original color statement lipsticks smell like Watermelon Jolly Ranchers, which I loved, but this has a very, very faint scent of nothing. Like, it smells a little bit vanilla-y but it's very, very faint. So if you're sensitive to scent and you hated the original ones because they smelled like Jolly Ranchers, these don't have like a repulsive scent at all. So besides the fact that a couple of them are a little patchy and you really have to build up the color, uh, these are pretty good. I actually really, really like them a lot actually, besides those two little cons. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of these down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to see what's coming up next this week in Lip Swatch Week, then just read the description. I will link uh, yesterday's and the day before in the description box as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I already said, please subscribe if you haven't already. I already said that.